Hello everybody, it's November 29th, 2020, and I'm uh, in the shop here today. I'm going to demonstrate how I replace uh, spark plug wires on the OMC uh, universal magneto coils. So first, I would take the old spark plug wire and measure a new length. Uh, I buy this stuff in bulk, so it's coming off of a roll. Uh, and just hold the old wire up to the new one. The, the top cylinder, bottom cylinder on a twin, they're different lengths. Um, so whichever one you're doing, take that length of wire and hold it up next to the, the new wire on the roll. Cut it to the length you want. And then I like to use uh, dielectric grease to put just a dab on the end. It helps keep the moisture out, keeps corrosion out. And then here's a new coil. This is a used coil, but this is a uh, OMC Universal coil. This is an OEM coil. It's got a straight spike in the end. It's not threaded. Uh, some of the aftermarket ones have like a small screw in there, and those ones you have to actually thread in. Uh, nothing wrong with either one. Um, but in this case, it's just a straight spike, so you take your wire... Center it in the hole and kind of give it a little twist as you're pushing down until it bottoms out. And uh, that's all there is to that. Sit this over here. Now for the boot that goes around that. Uh, the OEM coil, sometimes they come with a little rubber boot. This is a used one, but uh, this is to help seal that junction where the wire goes into the coil. You can now slip that over the end of the wire and run that all the way down to this uh, end of the coil here. And then when you put this assembly through the magneto plate, just make sure that this goes through the hole and doesn't get caught. Uh, they do kind of tend to catch, so you have to be careful. Um, what I like to do, and I, I will use those sometimes if I get them, but uh, I use sometimes I use if I'm reusing coils and just changing wires or whatever. If I bought uh, aftermarket and they didn't come with new boots, I use a uh, marine heat shrink tubing. This is the the marine stuff. It's the same as the other, other than it's got uh, the liner in it. It's like a glue. It's got the hot snot on the inside. So when you melt this thing. It actually glues to what you're melting uh, or what, what you're shrinking it to, so it helps seal it better. So I'll just cut a short length of this. And then slip that over the end of the wire. Right down to there. And then take my heat gun. Shrink that right down over the, the joint there. Now if it creeps up on you, you can push it down a little bit while it's still warm. Uh, the less you disturb it, the better really, because it, it'll mess up the bond of the glue. But if you need to, you can push it down. And then just let that cool off, and it, it just forms a boot, and it seals up real nice. Um, so once this is done, you get to this point, you have the coil wire assembly. Put that back into the magneto plate, run your wire through the hole, put that in through the hole, and you, you might have to work it just a little bit so it doesn't catch on the ends, and uh, set that right back down in there, and then loosely fasten these screws so it doesn't flop around while you're routing the wires on the bottom, and uh, putting all the 
uh, throttle cam and the wire clamps and so forth back on to hold them properly. Once that's all done into both coils, uh, you mount that back on the motor and uh, then you route the, the wires through the way they were when they came off and then you put the terminal ends on. I've got a motor that's going back together now and I will demonstrate how I put the, co the terminal ends on on that motor. We'll go out to it in just a moment. Okay, so we're out at the motor now. Uh, this is happens to be a 1960 Evinrude Fisherman, five and a half horse. Um, I just went through this whole thing and I'm down to the uh, plug wires. So I will demonstrate how I put the new terminal ends on these plug wires now. This bottom plug wire I had uh, measured from the old one, so it's the correct length now. The top one I let, I cut to two the same length, so it's got excess length. I'll trim it to length when I get to it. But first, we'll do this bottom wire. The first thing I want to do is cut just a little bit, maybe a sixteenth of the insulation back on this to expose some of the core wire. So I got that done. Let's see if I can zoom in on that so you can see what I have. You can see just a little bit of wire sticking out of the end of that. So the idea there is when I push the spring through the center of the core, I contact the spring. The spring makes contact with the core of the wire on the spike here as well as against the back of the spring here so you got double contact first we'll take this spring and we'll set it against the wire and see where that spike is and then we just want to kind of mark it or hold your thumbnail there and take a pick some kind I got a hooked one here uh, straight ones probably better but it doesn't really matter and we want to poke through the insulation to get it started and make sure we're into that copper core now that we have that done we'll take the spring terminal and get it started in there Once you get it started, you get it in as far as you can go, take a pair of pliers and just kind of crimp it in there, push it the rest of the way through. There. Now, I'll take a little more dielectric grease. Put some on the end of the wire and around where the spike went through the side. Then we'll take and roll this thing over on the end so it contacts spring terminal at the end and then this is going into the core. Then we take one of our boots and I like to use carb cleaner spray uh, it evaporates fairly quickly and it does a very good job of lubricating that as, you, as you're putting it together. So take a little bit of that and spray it in there. Probably should be wearing gloves for this. Normally I do, but at any rate, while that's still wet, push that terminal in. I use this the spike side I like toward the back and just keep pushing until you feel it pop in. There. Then, when you look on the inside, you should be looking directly into the spring. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, you can kind of see it in there. If you need to work it into place, you can get a screwdriver or some kind of tool in there and move it around a bit. 
but once it's in there like that then you just you can plug it right onto the wire or the plug and push it until it snaps on there it is so there's the bottom one and then the top one you do the same way I just have to trim this one off and same process so that's how you assemble spark plug wires on these. Till next time, thanks for watching, and keep your prop out of the mud.